All right, man. Let's get into this episode of Kuzuno Honkai. I'm really apprehensive going into this one. Um, simply because, given Mugi's position now, and given everything that happened with Hana's character last episode, it's going to be both really interesting to witness how things unfold from this point going forward, but I'm a little bit scared for Hana's character, I will say that. Not to mention the two factors um, of Echana and Mocha, which I still can't fully finalize how I feel about how they're going to affect the overall outcome of that dynamic and relationship. But I don't really expect to see too much of what's going on with Mugi and Akane. I think they're going to slowly let that unravel itself, and it's going to hinge more so on Akane's character than Mugi's. But we'll see what happens. More. The only thing with Mugi, I think, is uh, that that's going to be affected by this initially is his relationship with Hana. And I'm curious to see how she takes that. So we're going to get into this episode. Please smash that like button if you're hype. And I'm going to start in five, four, three, two, one. It's possible to get one. I'm not going to hold my breath for that happy end, though. Been leaning towards a, a more somber and tragic end from the beginning. <laughs> How much time has passed at that point? Damn. Damn. I've seen being tricked. Damn, that's how she perceives it. I mean, I can't fault it for looking at it that way either. I would have came to the same conclusion given how Moogie's acted up until this point. It's fucked up though. This is this is even worse though. You can't be trying to hide from those feelings and delving into Echon yet again. No matter what she says, it's it's taxing on her. And it's it's causing her mental state to devolve. So good, man. I love this opening. Still doesn't surpass the sight greatness that is the ED, ED, but it's up there. I don't know if I'd even, as far as openings go, I can't put it in top. I can't do it. ED dominates, though. At least this will give them time to actually have a deeper dialogue. Hopefully, Edshub can reconcile her feelings as well. It's a grieving trip. Damn. Gotta get out of your head a little bit right now, Hana. Still rocking that scum's wish cap. Amazing. I really want one. I have to look into that. She always has been. Ah, 
damn. See, that's the thing. It's twofold in that one statement. Because not only is she talking about Moogie, but also the resolution with Kanai Sensei. Dude, that child's got game, though. <laughs> this man! Crashing the romantic getaway. You know damn well he just wants to be the girl that, that stole at John's heart, too. <laughs> Completely shameless about it, too. Dude, I see it's dope. I really like this character. Yeah, I do have similar features. Threesome incoming. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Surprise she doesn't join her in the bath right now. <sighs> Truly peaceful shot right there. <laughs> this is a great dynamic. Damn. <laughs> You're the one that crashed the whole affair, my dude. Oh, that was brilliant. That quick cut to the panels. I love the focus on him kind of averting his gaze quickly before doing it. It's been a while since I've praised this series for the stylistic choices. So warped. Just trying to take advantage of that situation. I'm surprised you could admit that so freely, at John. But that's exactly why I love this character so much. You just wanted one last memory together. <laughs> Look at him chilling shirtless, too. <laughs> You know, he doesn't genuinely believe that. But he, what he truly is saying with that statement is that she doesn't know if her strength is enough to surmount the strength of her field. Can't even fault them for trying to lose themselves in this. Yo. Completely trying to lock away your sense of self isn't helping anything, though, Echon. It is if Ati is not lurking right now. Choosing my own ending. Nothing. It's just that not everyone gets to make that choice. Most things in life are outside of your control. It's all about the, the external factors, especially when what you want to identify yourself with and at the same time bring you happiness is contingent on somebody else.
Oh, are you serious right now? That a single touch could break me. Yo, that line is serious right there. When the foundation is in shambles, no matter what you do to the surface, the end result is going to be the same. Man didn't sleep. Please do. I really want to hear what Ozzy has to tell you. That's an awesome shot. The reflection and fraction of the of the water at the same time, the leaves, the shade from the leaves. That split too. That's not true. And that's not what you want to know either, is it also too? Exactly. Too real. But both of them made that active decision because that Chun wanted to manipulate the relationship like that too and take advantage of the situation. But just acting under those false pretenses doesn't help in the situation at all. It's going to strain your relationship even more. Dude, no matter how many times I hear this track, I can't stop getting entranced by it. So beautiful. Just gotta leave it to the god Masuru, man. Can't wait to grab this OST. that transition bro that's brilliant <sighs> completely painted by all of those disparate feelings it doesn't matter you can't fault yourself for any of those it's only human what you have to ask yourself is this true question right here. Yo, that was fucking beautiful. Symbolically, that was heavy. <laughs> this man. Poor man. That one glance is all it takes. <laughs> Damn. No, now is the time to cry. Don't try to bottle that shit up. That's the true test right here. Okay, there's no question, regardless of the forcefulness or the methods employed, that Enchan is in love with you. That she genuinely cares about you. <laughs> that quiet resolve.
Unless you truly mean this, though, Hannah, don't, don't you dare string it along because it's only going to be more fucked when you're unable to hide from your feelings for movie. Brilliant development. No, she needed to say it. I fucking love her. Even still, you could view this as another tactic of hers, but I, I, I still want to believe in it. No, it doesn't look like we're getting the threesome. It doesn't look like we're getting the threesome. Of course, they had to do this in the rain. <sighs> Such holy selfish request. Told her she couldn't handle that. I do agree that it'd be too difficult for her right now, but ultimately she'd just be running away from it in the end. Those floating and bloated petals, the locked door. Yo, the symbolism in this series is crazy. Sneaking that heavily back during episode seven, but yo. Oh. This is so fucked, but I can't help but feel bad for both of them. <laughs> You're just scared at that point. How how, how long do you think you can run for yourself? Exactly. It's not possible. I think that's the best resolution possible. This is so fucking twisted at the same time. Absolutely beautiful. I don't even know how it's possible to see both of those at the same time. That shot. Yo. And that final bit of dialogue, too. God damn, that was real. Good man. <laughs> going to happen in the future. That's why I'll believe yeah, this. There is some incredible character development for both of them right now, though. That line. You've already found it, you just don't know it yet. It's time to confront the man head on. I'm curious about the progression because I knew they'd skip at least this much time without giving us any insight into how it went on that side of things. That resounds on both sides, Anna. Trust me on that. 
<laughs> no refinement, no fucks given. I actually like seeing Yoko like this more. <laughs> It's her chance to get her back. <laughs> Yo, I needed this. The last scene was way too heavy for me. It's nothing to do with anything. But it's nice that she said that forcing the recognition. Damn. Oh, come on, man. That is not the move I expected from her. Oh, the light dancing in her eyes right there. I see the man still hasn't been able to break through. And it take a lot more than that, that one confession, that determination. Especially when Akana is going to root it fully in, in this twisted physicality. <sighs> My son, man. I knew they were gonna hit, make it contingent on a Kanye's character, though. That is how you would rationalize it, isn't it? I love you, but god damn. She's made that conscious decision not to acquiesce to it, and yet she's still playing games with my boy's heart. I can't even fault him either with that, that going full on with that role play right there. He's in such a volatile position, even though it's his feelings are, are real and true. I think it's still necessary for Hana to be a part of that change if, if Akane's character is going to get that sense of, of, of reality smacking in the face and a little bit of redemption. But it's gonna be interesting. I mean, let me just bask in, in the Sayu greatness yet again. episode definitely a powerful episode well, symbolism to the dialogue to the development really and, and, and yet it's just left me positioned to be really curious about what we're going to be getting into next week especially as far as Akane is concerned and and Mugi and his mentality at this point but let me know your thoughts on this episode so are you going to avoid mistake you made yesterday not I'm not going to be playing any near today. Uh, I won't have any time. It's, it's all about that ordinal skill today, my dude. Um, no, I, I can't fault him. That's not what I'm saying. It's just problematic because of of who he is and, and his mentality overall. We'll see how it how it the effect ripples. I think I think Han is going to be integral to to both kind of breaking the mold of Akane's character um, and actually waking her up and making her feel some sense of, of empathy for other people and not just be wholly selfish and internalizing that and at the same time 
I think Moody needs to realize. I mean, unless he can do it even then. Yeah, no, it, it, it can't work out cleanly regardless. That's pretty much it, man. I got to get up out of here. I really need to sit on this episode because that 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 scene with that Chan actually hurt me. Like it was it was it was real on both sides of it. It was absolutely real. Let me know your thoughts. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys ne next time.